This tutorial demonstrates how to see and use the data associated with Maptitude Maps. Each country package that is available for Maptitude includes dozens of geographic files, all of which have some tabular data associated with them. Where available, demographic data are also included. For example, the United States Country Package includes tracts, counties, county subdivisions, places, MSAs, and states, all with hundreds of fields of demographic data from the Census, American Community Survey, and other sources. You can use the Info tool to see the data associated with a particular map feature. First, choose the layer whose features you want to query from the drop-down list to make it the working layer, or right-click on the layer in the Display Manager and choose Make Working Layer. Then use the Info tool to click on a feature on the map. An info window pops up where I can see, in this case, income data for Miami, population, age distribution, race, ethnicity, etc. Hold the Shift key down and click on another map feature to compare the features side by side in the info window. You can also display tabular data for the entire layer in a data view by right clicking on the layer in the Display Manager and choosing New Data View. You can control what fields are displayed, how they are displayed, edit data, and create formula fields in a data view. For example, you can make a column wider or narrower by dragging its heading like this. You can hide columns by highlighting some cells and clicking the Hide Column button. You can lock one or more columns so that they are always visible as you scroll through the data. Click either of these buttons to sort a column in ascending or descending order. Create a formula field using data from the data view by clicking the Formula Field button. Enter a formula manually or with a formula builder. In this case, I'll create a formula that is population divided by area, and I'll call this field density. Maptitude calculates the results and displays the formula field at the end of the data view. You can also construct more complex formulas by clicking Statistics. You can sum the values in a number of fields, or find the standard deviation, mean, median, highest, or lowest. For example, if I want to know how many households have incomes over $50,000, I would choose Sum, click Choose Fields, highlight all of these household income fields, click Add, and OK. Now when I close this dialog box, you can see the formula has been filled in, so I can just name the field, and click OK. Use the Field Properties button to change the formatting of a column. For example, to change the number of decimals in the formula fields that we just created, choose a format, and click OK. And finally, you can sort the columns in the data view. You can highlight a column and click the left or right keys on your keyboard to move it, or you can click the Show Hide Fields button and choose exactly which fields you want in the data view and in what order. So for example, I'll add these fields and filter the list to add one more field of the households. and click OK. And that wraps up this tutorial on working with data.